York peoples, Al York Sports, you already know, man. I'm putting that work in, man. That's what I do, man. Salute to everybody, man. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for continuing to tune in. Like I tell y'all, man, I'm going to work harder than anybody, man. Just keep that in mind, man. So before we start this show, salute to the East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, Cali, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, New York City, Chi-Town, Minnesota, the D and LES to the motherfucking death. Shout out and salute to Syndicate Radio TV, my dude, Vegas Divas, D Beeman, Tony Sports, and my man Nuns from Diego, man. Salute, big fella. And last but not least, D Tainer Credit Fix, never too late. IG me, inbox me, email me, al.newyork at yahoo.com. And fix your motherfucking credit, man. It's never too late. Now, let's get to these sports topics. The 15 quickest minutes of sports. So much to do in so little time. Y'all niggas know how I get it popping, man. We're going to start off with the MLB. Big game yesterday at the nation's capital. As the Nationals tied a series 2-2. Shirts had pitched his butt off, man. Shirts was dealing yesterday. Got out of a huge seven-inning jam when he got Peterson to ground out the second and end that bases loaded threat. And it enabled uh, Washington to go to a game five at L.A. where L.A. Dodgers are going to start Walker Bueller versus Steven Strasburg. This is all you can ask for if you're a national. You got one of your main dogs on the mound. You just got to go get this game, man. If you're the nationals, you got the man you want on the mound. Go get this game five. Because you know the Dodgers is coming. You know they're coming. Great game. Uh, a great way, you know, Zimmerman hit a home run in that game. So in case they don't make it back, at least he left, you know, because he might be gone next year, either retirement or another team I'll pick him up. I don't think they're going to resign him. But at least he hit a big three-run shot in the bottom of the fifth and then salute to Ryan Zimmerman. Now, uh, the other game, St. Louis Cardinals tie the Atlanta Braves. Now, this series is funny. Because in game one, if y'all remember, Cardinals came back late, stole game one. Then the Braves did the same in game three, where they scored on three runs in the top of the ninth inning. So, and yesterday, yadi 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 came through with a big single off Freeman's glove in the first in the, in the eighth inning with one with actually two outs, man on third. Yadi delivered a ball just came off Freeman's glove on like a blooper, tied the game, and then he hit a sack fly to win it in the bottom of the tenth. With one out in first and third. Salute to Yachty there, Molina. Now, he will be back, unlike Ryan Zimmerman. But it's great to see Molina, to me, Mr. Catcher. Right now, you know, I haven't seen Johnny Bench in him. I've seen a lot of Carlton Fist. You know, I've seen uh, Daryl Porter. Uh, the Boone, like one of the Boones. I think it's Bob Boone. I, didn't, I got to see him somewhat. But as of right now, man, if I left anybody out, you know, Thurman Munson, I'm sorry. But right now, Molina, to me, is the best catcher ever. Even over Benito and Tony Pena also. Uh, Molina is the fucking man. And what's scary is he's got about at least two to three years left. Because he's staying in shape. And the guy does what he does best. And nobody calls a game like Yadier Molina. So salute to the Cardinals. They go into a game five. And they got a nice situation because they got Flaherty versus Fokowitz. And St. Louis is going to be favored. And I told you I won't be surprised if the Cardinals came out this series, though the Atlanta Braves were favorite. Salute to the Cardinals, man. And then in another game, the Rays kept the series going. We all know that Houston's coming out that series. But as a Yankee fan, I'm very happy that the Tampa Bay Rays extended this series with a 10-3 win behind my boy Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton, the ex-Houston Astros, you know he had a chip on his shoulder. You know he wanted to come out yesterday, and he dealt, man. He pitched five innings, a one-run ball, nine Ks. Charlie was on. Rays won 10-3. to three. Now, today, they're going to have to pitch by committee. They're going to start a reliever in Castillo and then pitch by committee versus Justin Verlander. So if the Rays find some way to win this game, which I, is highly doubtful, because Verlander, I don't think, has laws of start in 15 decisions. So I think Houston moves on today, and they're going to end up playing my Yankees, who I'm getting up to now. The thing is, the Yankees are going to be set up more better, but I'm going to bring that up to y'all. 
But salute to the Rays, Kiermaier touchdown, Choi touchdown, and Lowe touchdown. All of them hit home runs, and also a Dames touchdown. And for the Houston Astros, our two red touchdown. And with that, we go to game four today. Let's go Rays. Do what y'all got to do. Get in their bullpen. Get these guys tired because my Yankees are going to need all the help they can get to beat the Houston Astros in the next series. That's real talk. Now, last but not least, we're going to my Bronx Bombers. Where do I start? They swept the Twins, which we own them. We own the Twins. Not only that, this is the first 100-win team to get swept in Minnesota, and the Yankees being the first team to sweep a 100-win team. So, me personally, I thought the Twins were going to get at least two games. I thought it would be three, two bombers. That's how good to me the Twins were. But you know what? The Yankees are too strong, man. They are too fucking strong. Silverino went four scoreless innings, though he escaped two innings and one was bases loaded, no outs. Salute to Silverino. It was no breaks. The way he got them on base is the way he shut them down. Hit them with the corners, that big curveball, sharp curveball. Salute to Silverino. We used two more relievers. We ended up using Adovino and Kaylee in the fifth. And, and thank you for Chad Green, man. Chad Green, who's the least effective pitcher from the both I just mentioned. Chad Green came down, hold it down. Zach Britton came in, gave up a home run to Rosario, and that was it. Maven hit a home run late. 4 1 bombers for the sweep. I love my Bronx Bombers, man. And I got something here to say. Uh, what else did I got here? Um, basically, we in perfect position to set our rotation up for the Houston Astros. Because we're going to need every break we can get. We're going to have to play at Houston, which I was trying to avoid. I was trying to get the series in New York. We all were, not just me. Every Yankee fan. But we didn't get it that way. So the least we could get is not to get Houston with Verlander, Cole, and Grinky. If we can have something, like if Rays can win tonight, then we, we, we can win the series because Grinky's going to be game one pitcher. But if the Rays, if, if the Astros close it out tonight, then you're going to have uh, you're going to have Cole to start the series, Grinky. And whether they go to a third starter, I'm not sure, come back to Verlander. But at least we don't have Verlander, Cole, and Grinky. That's what we were trying to avoid. We avoided that, and we can set up our rotation the way we want to set up our rotation. And like I said, man, sky's the limit. It's going to be a great series. Y'all put your seatbelts on because my Bronx Bombers is regulating. And let me go through some, a couple things for the Yankees. We went 103-59, and 59, third best record in baseball, second, uh, second behind the Astros and the Dodgers. Dodgers and the Astros had better records than us. And another thing, before I forget, in that Minnesota series, Minnesota has the best offense in baseball. We hold them to seven runs in three games. Do the math. Seven runs in three games, which account, to me is like two and a half runs a game, something like that, like two, two and a quarter, two and a half. Great pitching, great situation pitching. Great heading for the Yankees. Glabar Torres, sky's the limit, brother. I thank God you got my last name. You might be related to me. I'm going to check into that. Not because I want no money, because I want free tickets, motherfucker. And now let's move on. Salute to the New York Yankees, baby. Let's get our 28 chip. We're going to have to go through two incredible teams. One's going to have to be Houston and the winner between the Nationals and the Dodgers. It ain't going to be nothing easy, but you know what? We swept Minnesota, so we're prepared for this shit. Next topic, we're going to the NBA. Fastest 15 minutes in sports. I keep hearing, especially after this preseason game, that the L.A. Lakers are the team to beat. Makes me laugh a little bit. Uh, to me, there's no runaway team. Uh, let me give you a couple of what, what's in the roster for the Lakers. I think this should be their starting five. Of course, they might mix it up. You got LBJ, of course, Anthony Davis. I got Anthony Davis at the five, though he's original four. Danny Green at the two, Rondo at the one, and Kyle Kuzma at the four. Now, they can either flip-flop, put Davis forward, and bring in maybe JaVale McGee to start a center or Dwight Howard. 
But let me go to the bench. JaVale McGee, KCP, Coldwell Pope, Avery Bradley, who's a defensive specialist. He will help him out. Jared Dudley, watch. I don't know why they got old ass Dudley. They should have got Carmelo. But they got Dudley. Dwight Howard, of course. I see the Lakers winning between 55 to 60 games in the 81 game uh, season. They will be, I'll say, top three in the league. Maybe, maybe two, maybe the best record. But I don't think they're going to come out and win this chip this year. I'm, I'm going to go with the other L.A. team. I'm going to go with the Clippers. That's going to be mine, barring no injuries. Barring no injuries. Let me give you the Clipper lineup. It would be Patrick Beverly at the one. I think you move Kawhi to the two, from the three to the two. Um, you put Paul George, PG-13, at the three. Montreal Harrell at the four. And Ivaka Zubak at the five. Unless you go Harrow at the five, and maybe you start Lou Williams and you drop Ka uh, Kawhi Leonard to the, to the three, and then you put Lou Williams at the two. But I think w Lou Williams is best suited to come in off the bench. Sweet Lou Williams, best six man in the game. I wouldn't mess with that. Plus, you need firepower from the bench, which they got firepower because they got Markless Harkless, Jermichael Green, Patrick Patterson, and Landry Shemet. Remember that word. Landry Shamet, this guy can shoot. But in the NBA, about a couple years, started out with the Sixers. This young guy can shoot. And learning by how Lewin them, he will improve his game. So I'm going to leave this topic. Are the Lakers going to win it all? I'm going to say no. I'm going to roll with the L.A. Clippers instead or the field. Or the field. Meaning that the Lakers are not going to win. And with that, I want to thank all you guys. Once again, for tuning in to the Al York Sports Show, uh, salute to D. Taylor, Credit Fix, Syndicate Radio TV, Noah Parker, Vegas Divas, D. Beeman. Y'all already know, man. Remember, every Thursday, every Thursday, 1.30 Pacific, 4.30 Eastern, check me and Noah Parker out. We're going to break down all the topics, take on all the questions. Now, y'all been slacking with the questions, so what I'm going to do this week we gonna go more topic on y'all because I left the field open to engage with y'all, but you guys are not engaging enough. Thank you for those who are, but you're not engaging enough. So what I'm gonna have to do, we're gonna go more topics on y'all. All right? Thank you for tuning in, Al York Sports. Love y'all niggas. Let me give it up. Les to the death, baby. Hold your heads, baby. One hundred.